And let's go over 10 different things that you need as an Uber or Lyft driver. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. Now some you actually have to have as requirements by Uber and Lyft for safety reasons and just in general good practice, but I'm also gonna go over some things that you should have on hand in case you're driving and something happens, you know, you're able to take care of it right away. And for everything that's mentioned within the video, there are going to be links in the description. So if you don't have some of these things, but you wanna look at them, link's gonna be in the description. All right, so the first thing that you need to have when being a rideshare driver and is actually a requirement by both Uber and Lyft, cell phone holder. You need something like this in your car and your phone needs to be affixed to it on the dash. So then that way you're not looking down at the phone in your lap, looking down, seeing where you gotta go and taking your eyes off of the road. Now having something, this goes right into the vent. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, big bulky phone. This holds it, no problem, not an issue whatsoever. And it's right there, right where I need it to be. So when I'm driving, all I gotta do is glance at it and then back at the road. I'm not looking down and back up. So something like this, definitely required to have. Now the second thing that I'm about to talk is a dash camera. Now this is not a requirement, but it surely should be. And if you're driving rideshare, having people in your car, you definitely want a dual channel dash camera. Now this is my old one, this is an N2 Pro. I actually went and upgraded to the N4. So you see right here is my backup camera uh, and I have it sitting right there. So yeah, having a dash camera is definitely necessary whenever driving. And with that being said, you also need a memory card. Uh, make sure it's dual channel, so at least forward facing and interior facing. And even the third channel going out the back is gonna help just in the event of an accident or anything like that. It's really good. But also, what happens in the back seat is gonna be recorded. So if anything happens that's a problem, an issue, you have it on record and video speaks a lot more than a he said, she said story. Now the third thing that you actually need when driving for Uber and Lyft, cell phone charger. You definitely need something for driving to charge your phone at the same time that your phone is on. Cause well, let's face it. If you leave your phone on, not charged, it's going to drain before you're done with your shift. You put something like this in, it's charging your phone while you're driving and you don't need to worry about it. Also, something like this is pretty cool because it's got the LED. So if you drive at night or anything like that, this is just like an added little thing where people are like, oh, that's really cool. Uh, so it's all about the perceived value on top of that. But you definitely want to make sure you charge your phone while you're driving. All right, so the next thing that I'm about to share with you is not a requirement at all, but it's definitely good to have on hand just in case something happens, especially with being a rideshare driver. You're putting a lot of miles on your car and it gets high mileage quick. So also the fact that people are getting in and out of the car, you know, you're starting and stopping, driving a lot, things can loosen up break and the ability to fix it on the fly is very good, especially if you have to. So having something like a mini toolkit is going to be great. Small form factor, very easy to store. So having something like this is going to be great. And they come in all different shapes and sizes, but something that's gonna be simple and easy for you to be able to fix a lot of different problems that could arise when you are out driving, loosening up and tightening down, whatever it might be, uh, hose going off, whatever it is, something like this will definitely help fix it. All right, the fifth thing that you should have as a rideshare driver is a mini vacuum. You wanna have something that is going to be able to vacuum things up in the event that a rider gets out of your car and leaves a mess. Whether it's dirt, sand, something when they're getting in the car, when they're in your car and they litter, you're able to vacuum it up, get it clean for the next ride. Number six, fluids. Again, with driving a lot and getting a high mileage on your car, you wanna have extra fluids in your car in case something goes wrong. You'll be able to top off or fill up at least the amount that you need to in the event some issue is arising. You know, that's windshield wiper fluid, that's having extra coolant on hand, that's having extra oil on hand, something that is going to help you in the event, you know, if fluid gets too low, whatever it might be, you wanna make sure you have extra on hand. 
Number seven, again, going on with car maintenance and having it just in your car is a good thing. And that is either jumper cables or a jumper battery pack. There's plenty out on the market. They're fantastic to have just in the event that something happens where let's say you stop your car and then you go to start again and it's dead and you need a jump in order to be able to get it to the shop or to get a new battery or whatever the issue may be. So having jumper cables or a jumper battery pack is going to be great. Now, number eight, again, is not required by any means, but it's definitely necessary to have no matter what you're driving. Sure, this product is going to be more for nighttime drivers, but people could get sick at any time or motion sickness at any time. So puke bags are definitely good to have on hand. And you could get some of these for, you know, fairly, fairly cheap where you get a full package of them. And I do like these ones because you could tie it off and, you know, any issues, you just hand it to the person, say, you got an issue, use it. If they don't, perfect. If they do, at least it's going in here. Um, they're strong. They hold up. Uh, these are pretty well. So again, link will be in the description below. Not required, but definitely going to help in the event that somebody decides to throw up in your car. Now moving on to number nine, and this is if you skipped over number eight and just in general, cleaning supplies. You wanna make sure you have different things to be able to clean your car, keep it clean in the event that a rider gets in, makes a mess and then gets out. In between rides, you're able to clean the car and you're able to make sure that the next rider that gets in will have a nice clean car. Yeah, it can be pretty tedious, it can be pretty annoying, but you always want to make sure your car is clean because it will give you better ratings and more tips. It's just the way it is. It happens. If you want to argue with me, I'll tell you 100% that is the true case. Keep your car clean. Keep that perceived value high. You'll get better ratings, more tips. But not only that, when it comes to having cleaning supplies in your car, in the event that they make a really big mess, like spill food, drink, or even throw up in your car, you can take care of it right then and there. And then that way, it's not going to sit in your car for hours on hours until you can get it detailed. Number 10 is definitely something for all of the other products to be able to fit into. And that is an organizer. Having something that is going to organize all your products and store them in a small little area versus just being thrown into the trunk and rolling all over the place. It's actually going to keep everything kept together, kept nice. So having some sort of organizer for all of these other products that I had mentioned is definitely going to be good. Not only that, it will add to the perceived value in the event that a rider has to put something into the trunk, whether that's something like luggage or anything else that they might be having that needs to go into the trunk while they're going on for a ride. But again, having something like an organizer for all of those products is going to be great. Just adds that professionalism. It adds that it's going to be better kept up and it just gives that extra perceived value. Links to everything that I mentioned will be in the description below. And then I wanna know, do you agree with this list? Do you think that that's a good start? Do you think that there's more? And what would you add? What did I miss? Make sure you comment below and let us know. Now, if you're looking to help with your perceived value a little bit more to get better tips and higher ratings, well, you wanna make sure you check out this video right here because Jay is gonna go over just a few tips that he has to help you with perceived value as a driver yourself and also to help you get better ratings and tips. Drive safe, everyone.